Hey folks, we uh, just want to let you in on last night. I'll try to put a link in the description box down here. Uh, got to watch uh, Zeke Castro on KO Breaking Boxing News on YouTube, a uh, newer channel. That I know is going to take off because he's interviewing uh, young amateur boxers on there. And I, I hope he continues to do so. It was a very nice show. And Zeke and Zeke Sr. Uh, was on the show. And I got to get in through Yardley and get up and hook and talk to him back and forth on video. And that was... Uh, really nice, really nice, and uh, so I'm going to put a link down in the description box. I don't come up till later, but uh, go watch the program uh, because they talk about a lot of things, and uh, uh, Zeke Sr. and Zeke Jr. get to talk some, and uh, you get to hear about uh, things that they focus on. And this is what we need to do. This is what we need to be doing in the amateur boxing community. In the amateur boxing community, we really need to be family and uh, really showing athletic love towards one another in this sport. Um, I'll give you a small uh, little example here. Uh, we've gotten into, uh, we've, we've been working, well, as we always do, on strength of punches. Uh, I'm convinced that an excellent offense makes a great defense within reason now there. Uh, Kepner Boxing and Fitness just put a video out and they are talking about uh, boxing myths and maybe I'll put a link down there with this too because uh, the sport's not as cut and dry as looking at something as in black or uh, white. Um, there, there's a lot of shades of gray there. Uh, in styles, uh, just a whole host of things that need to be discussed and need to be taught to the young boxers, which is not being taught. You know, today you go into a boxing gym, it's one style and, uh, and one size fits all. And that's, uh, that's disastrous. It works in some cases, but, and maybe in many, but, uh, you're 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 producing a young boxer that's eventually going to get schooled big time. But back on point here, um, Zeke Jr. the son, he was I I stress cardio, so I know the dad does. But this was from. Uh, Lightning Zeke himself, he said, everything I do is revolved around cardio and endurance. And uh, although we've been really stepping up our cardio game, I say our, I'm not stepping up my cardio game, but Joe and a couple of guys that, that train with him there, they're working on uh, cardio big time right now. And uh, I haven't been stressing that enough. So I heard that and then I told Joe, uh, I hate Joe missed the show last night because I would have loved for him and Zeke to have went back and forth a little bit. That's what it's all about. Uh, but I... Uh, Joe's like in the bed at 8 o'clock. 
this kid, if he's not in bed and sound asleep before nine o'clock, it wrecks his structure and he don't like it. So this is not me telling him to go to bed at eight o'clock is or not or before nine. It's his thing. Uh, and when you get kids into boxing and they, they start get, getting self-discipline, those are the fruits of that labor. And they realize the early riser uh, has the advantages. And the man that's getting rest and recuperation ends up uh, able to work harder and the fruits of the the, the fruits of it all go to the harder workers. Uh, but I told Joe about that this morning. He got to see a little bit. He's going to go back and watch the full thing after school today uh, or maybe tonight after <coughs> he does his second workout. He typically does uh, two workouts a day. But uh, uh he was Zeke's right. He said that, Dad, I need to start stressing more on this cardio. And of course, what we do is a little different than what they do, but we know what they do works. See? You, we know what we do works, and we know what they do works. And uh, uh, let me give you an example. In Joe's cardio, he does a lot of rope work. Uh, he'll get on that jump rope and go, 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 go. He can sit and watch a television program while he's jump roping with earbuds in. Uh, Zeke does, likes to do the road work more. And uh, uh, Joe does road work too, but he doesn't. I don't believe he's doing as much as Zeke's doing at, uh, by a long shot. But there's some things that Joe does that He's not doing. And see, that's the key. You look at those around you and see what's working, and you try to draw in from it. So it was very pleasant. It was excellent uh, meeting uh, Zeke Sr., wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, spends, uh, you can tell, every available moment that he can. Uh, like I do without bombarding his his, his kid uh, with with all the time that's afforded to him to, to do that with. There was another interesting thing that came up last night in the interview. Uh, oh my goodness, I have forgotten forgotten KO. Uh, breaking boxing news. I forgot the gentleman's name. It takes me a few days to really get a name in this old brain. Uh, but the gentleman had an excellent question. He was talking about fathers and the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, training the kids. And there's a lot of talk today that really maybe that's not good and all. And Zeke Sr. replied, I'm very, he said, I'm very open, open to everything. Uh, but he said, I do not want all the control taken and I, I need to be with my kid. Now, I'm paraphrasing him, but I, I know that's what, what he meant. Uh, and you do. If you're a dad out there and you're training your kid, I'll tell you, you're uh, no one's more qualified than the dad to uh, train a kid in boxing. Uh, you know, if the father knows boxing. Now, later on, in the professional ranks, uh, it's probably good for dads to pull back some if they know they need to. Holding on and being ornery and uh, controlling to the point that it would hurt your kids, not good. Uh, but I'll remind, and I, 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 I wasn't thinking good enough to, well, I don't think quick anyway no more, but uh, 
I got to thinking about it this morning, and I should have brought this point up. Um, back in my day, and back well before my generation, uh, these boxers that got into the sports typically didn't have a dad around. So that was typically the problem. And if you did have a dad around, dad was working himself to death just to survive. Uh, the world has eased up uh, for a lot of people in a lot of countries now where dads have more time available to them to spend with their, with their kids. And... Uh, it's really a sad shame because now that the time has been afforded to dads, uh, a lot of dads have had that taken and stripped away from them uh, by mothers and courts and things like that. I won't get into these issues, but I've, I, <coughs> excuse me, I've seen a lot of these horror stories, and it saddens me to no end. Uh, but but in yesteryears. Uh, dads had no time or there would have been dads with kids from start to finish I did give the example that uh, we had a uh, which people that watch this channel you know uh, uh, I cut Joe loose in the beginning with a Venezuelan uh, professional he's won a bunch of masters tournaments and uh, a boatload of professional fights in Venezuela and Colombia and he's a great trainer I'm trying he's in Venezuela right now we're hoping to get him back because uh, I want him uh, it would be a joy for him to be working with Joe again but uh, I took uh, I took Joe to the side. And I spent 15 or 20 minutes with him, and Joe literally went back into the gym the next day, or the not it, uh, the next sparring session, and literally lamb blasted everybody that they put in front of him during that sparring session. And then those sparring sessions, they mix guys up. This one with this one, one round. This one with this one, one round. And that's what they were doing that that evening. And everybody's, oh my God, you know, what did you do? And and I'm like, I just pepped him up and taught him a few things and showed him a few things and instilled in him to let those hands go, and he did. Uh, and things that are in the uh, assembly line of boxing, but when you get off and you got the one-on-one, -on -one, you can really get to your kid and you can really reach them quite easily. And I realized at that point there was nobody more qualified to train my son than me. There, there are people that uh, they have uh, better, capable, uh, better, more capable technical senses than I do. Uh, people that uh, uh, have more or more, more capable of teaching footwork, for example, than I am. Uh, and we we bring people in to help us do that when, when we can and when we can find them. So, uh, but kudos to Zeke. Boy, he's just... You guys need to go to Zeke Castro uh, and look at his channel. Uh, for us, it pops up. It says Zeke Castro Boxer uh, on our YouTube searches. And go look, look him up. Uh, subscribe to his channel. I believe they said he had some more uh, fights coming up in September. Uh, I'm not sure. and Maybe they'll have something before then. Uh, but go check him out because the thing is with him you don't know what's going to be next you you get you see him bam bam or a hook 
and somebody just laying out cold, laying out cold. Uh, you, you see him on other occasions uh, mastering the art of going to the other guy's body and submitting the guy. Uh, not in a hold, obviously, but just banging the body till the guy submits. You know, the guy can't take it. And it's very exciting, and you guys should really go watch him, because you and, and especially you younger boxers, because and you guys at these lighter weight classes, of course, Joe Joe can in no way move like Zeke. Zeke is lightning fast, and uh, I, I believe Zeke is I would normally well in excess of 125 but he cuts down to 125 uh, when, he, when he gets in these tournaments. But there's a whole host of things. I mean, they're doing everything. And this stuff is old school, and you will hear things like, yeah, when I run, I, uh, I got an old pair of combat boots. I put them on, and that's what I run in. So, uh, you hear, hey, who is your favorite fighter? Well, uh, I'll say Marvin Hagler because he had to, he outworked everybody, and that's, that's what that's what you need to hear, young people and adults. You need to hear this to realize how uh, and and any of you professional boxers. We got a lot of professional boxers on our channel. Uh, we talk to Joe talks to uh, one of the. Uh, Quarry Brothers, uh, Riddick, Bo, there's several others whom I won't name. Uh, Joe had very good things said about him uh, by Ernie Shavers before he passed. And uh, I, I was friends with Ernie Shavers for decades. And it, uh, he was like, no, I'll tell you, I'd tell you if uh, I thought, Joe didn't need to do this, uh, or it was no good. And he's like, I'm not, I, I can't tell you that because it was kids something else. So we we need to get a inner uh, woven uh, thing amongst the amateur boxers, and. You know, there's groups of boxing fans. I like Errol Spence. I like uh, Bud Crawford. Uh, I like this guy. I like that guy. And they're vicious with one another. But I just wish the amateur boxers would uh, uh, get their little niches together and have their families that would extend online and... Uh, uh, and grow their online families and support one another. We need that. And the kids need that. And it's very important. And uh, uh, of course, Zeke Sr. just is in, in awe and, uh, of, of building Joseph up. Always good things to say. I'm always good things to say about uh, Zeke Sr. and Zeke Jr. and you see, you see what that does. That it is, it builds up. It's not tearing down, and that's what we need. And with the internet, the advent of all this social media, uh, there's a great pull down effect. A great let me tear you down effect, and we need to use the build up effect as effectively as they are using the tear, tear everybody down effect. And it's the kids that are not as committed as uh, uh, Zeke Castro, uh, Kirk Williams in Florida, Joe Allen in Columbia, and many others. They're, these other kids are not as committed as all these guys. Uh, they're not working as hard. Uh, they're not living boxing. And so, of course, and uh, uh, that they're not putting the effort in, uh, 
due to a multitude of different reasons could be possible for that they'll try to tear these ones that are the hardest workers and uh, producing the most fruit and being good farmers of boxing, sowing good seeds of boxing. So I would hope in the amateur ranks that we could get most of our kids together, no matter where they are in the world, build each other up, uh, uh, from the family of these young boxers to the young boxers themselves, uh, building one another up, showing good uh, sportsmanship and respect towards one another, and uh, and whatnot. And another thing I want to say about Zeke Jr., uh, not only is just his boxing just true, you know, every time I watch him I see something different, and I and uh, and and not different that he's all over the place. I mean, different as in better. And uh, so, not only in the ring is is the improvement there, the improvements there uh, in his uh, being able to talk to news or. Uh, Boxing outlets and things like that. I'm seeing a lot of growth in Zeke Castro. A lot of growth. And uh, so, don't know how much growth we're going to get out of Joe with that. He, you know, you can ask Joe a complex question that can be answered with a yes or a no. And uh, he'll give you a yes or no answer instead of explaining it all out to you. He has to really get to know you before he's going to sit and just, you know, talk with you uh, and get, he's not very descriptive and he's, uh, I said on the program last night, you know, a long time ago, Joe was like, hey, this guy's like me. And I said, no, Joe, you're like this guy. He's not like you. You are like him. And uh, that was Sonny Liston. He's a lot of yes or no answers, no no gift for gab. Uh, dad's different, and but when I was Joe's age, I was like that, had no gab about me whatsoever. Uh, but now, I sit and talk to you till the cows come home. Uh, and um, so I just thought I'd talk about some of these things. It was a delight to talk to... Uh, Lightning Zeke and his daddy Zeke Sr. And it was a very pleasant with the interviewer at uh, KO, Boxing KO uh, New News. And I'll put a link down there. I'll put a link to uh, uh, the KO Boxing New News, and I'll put a link to Zeke Castro and uh, down in the description box here. And so again, just let me finish with this great interview. Love meeting Lightning Zeke and his dad. Uh, when it th this needs to take place more in the amateur boxing community no matter the country you live in uh, doesn't mean you have to give every secret you got away or anything like that but we do learn from one another uh, in a multitude of ways just by communicating so God bless my Christian brothers and sisters to everybody else I want to say I love you too um, and we hope everybody has a good weekend and much love to you all thank you so much for watching this video